Yo, what is cool y'all? Hope that all you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down how you can create this lens flare effect and use it as a kind of muscle flash inside After Effects. It's not too hard to make and I'll be going through everything step by step and show you guys how you can spice it up as much as possible just to get the cleanest look. But let's jump right into it. Yo, real quick before we get into it, as usual, I just want to give a quick shout out to my shop, LurkingVisuals.store, where I sell all of my editing presets and assets that I've been using for the past four years to edit music videos for some huge artists. So if you're a music video editor, make sure to check them out. I'll have all of my assets linked in the description but i don't need to speak too much on it you go and check it out for yourself and let's jump right into the tutorial so right here i got this clip from this baby chief do it music video so right here when he puts his finger up like that i'll have a lens flare come in and can use it as a muscle flash and then spice it up with some shakes some glows and all that good stuff right click go to new and create a new adjustment layer i'll add a universe null light factory and this is basically a lens flare and I'll put it right there to his hand and these ones have a lot of different presets that you can use so you can just basically mess around with these and try to get something that looks as much as a muzzle flash as possible since it will only be showing for like one frame I think that these lens flares can look really good and make it look a lot less boring compared to a muzzle flash so what I'll do is mess around with these try to get something that I like and I'll set the color to like this orangish and then I'll mess around with these presets and I think that the, and I think that this desert digital one is crazy so I'll be using that one and I'll make it this yellow orangish color and just mess with the scale and the brightness a little bit and then I'll actually cut my adjustment layer right here make it one frame long and then I'll duplicate this and drag it over one frame and then just mess with the location and put it to his finger right there and I'll be using that lens flare for two frames then I'll duplicate it once again and go two frames in move the location once again then I'll change my preset and I think I will go for this one right here and turn up the brightness a little bit and I'll put it right there so now if I play through this is what I got it looks crazy it lights up a lot and I like the look of that so I'll duplicate this one once again and put it up here to his finger so I'll keep going with this and just do the exact same thing mess around with these presets find something that I like and now after messing with the lens flares a little bit this is what I got and I'm pretty happy with that it looks pretty good so what I'll do to spice this up now is just create a new adjustment layer and I'll actually be adding a shake for my shake pack I drag on my essential shake pack I'll have a link to the description for you guys and after dragging on the subtle shake this is what I got and that looks decent I'm pretty happy with that so I'll actually hide it for a little bit and then I'll head over to the background layer and right here I'll add on a brightness and contrast and I'll turn up the brightness every time the lens flare hit so I'll turn it up to like 1 100 the first time and then turn it back to 0 and then I can actually just press U on my keyboard and just copy paste these every time that the lens flare hits just like that and you can just go in and mess with the settings for these just so that it doesn't look the same for every frame so I'll turn one of them up to 150 and then another one down and then just remove this one completely just so I can have some variation in my clips and now if I play through this is what I got that's decent and now with the shake it will look a lot better and now I'll head over to YouTube and find a smoke overlay that I can use in the background when that lens flare is hitting. And now after dragging it on, I will hide my shake layer once again so I can see my scene as clearly as possible. Now I'll just match the smoke as good as I can. So I'll put it right there to his hand. Oh, it's way too big right now. So just mess with this and try to get it as good as possible. So after adding it on without the shake, this is what I got and I'm pretty happy with that, it looks pretty good. 
and with the shake this is what it looks like I, I think i can turn down the opacity for the smoke a little bit so i'll do that for my layers and i'll mess around with it to get some variation in my clips so i turn one down to 41 one to 80 and something like that and now i'll add on a new adjustment layer and drag it up top and this one i'll just add a curve and i'm just making an s curve like this and I'll make a hit right here with the shake but I'm pretty happy with how my scene look so if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a like and subscribe and as always check out my packs on the store so you can support me as a creator and also get some sick packs that you can use in your future music videos but thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this tutorial and come back tomorrow for a new one and I'll see you guys in the next one